What is this? This looks pretty cool. Wow. This is nice. We're gonna get to this part later, but let's see if anybody's home. Oh, hey guys, come on in. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Babe, what is this? Look how small I look. <laughs> this is, the doors are like the, the craziest thing of the whole thing and there's a lot of crazy happening here. What's up guys and welcome back to Trev and Chels. So it is day one of our stay here at Seneva Fushi. This is, we literally just got here. It's the most mind blowing thing. It's the most incredible place we've ever stayed and we wanted to make a full dedicated video just to the villa walkthrough. So this is a two bedroom beach villa. I think they call them Crusoe's or something. I'm going to try to find exactly what it's called online in case any of you guys are interested. Um, Seneva did hook us up with a stay, so thank you to them so much for that. And um, let's just see what this is about because it's you're not going to believe it. So to start things off, this is our kitchen and dining area. Everything outdoors. My goodness, natural breeze is happening. Look how nice it is in here, though. Wow. And this these open up all the way, by the way. Voila, look at that. It's kind of like our doors at home. Yeah. Okay, it starts with our fridge. We've got juices, soda, a couple beers, a couple like snack things that need to stay cold. Restocked every day yep. or whenever you want, multiple times a day. And then you've got your wine fridge here. Cannot wait to hop into this. Up above, this is where you're going to find your liquor and your snacks. And all the snacks are like, they're things that you would know. Like these are the Haribo Bears, but they're Soniva branded, which is super, super cool. And then still water, sparkling water coffee and up here you have all of your coffee fixes sugars creams not creams creams would be in the fridge but you guys <laughs> get it the aesthetic of the place is just incredible it's all wood all supernatural all about just you know kind of conservation and yeah, taking care so. of the earth and your body and stuff like that it's meant to be like truly hang out get away from everything they literally they took our shoes they stole our shoes when we got in the I boat they were like, no, no news, no shoes when you're here. Sorry. Yeah, like they brought our luggage, which has shoes in it, but the shoes that we had on on the boat, I they took legitimately them. don't know where they are. Um, they're in, they, they were like back here. Oh, they did bring them yeah. back? <laughs> they, they didn't actually steal them, but I kind of like that they did. Like you, you go to dinner every night and you don't wear shoes. You don't wear shoes anywhere. Which is so cool. So sick. So this is kind of like our living room here. Yeah, hangout space. We do have a TV. They do have TV. They have Wi-Fi. They have all the, you know, creature comforts yeah, of I modern day. Want to use the TV to no, I, I don't think we're ever going to turn that on. We've got a nice little desk. You've got like all the, you know, menus and stuff and numbers you can call. This was filled with all of these papers that these are, you know, kind of like some of the activities we're going to have throughout. Now, I, I believe, I don't know if they do it for everyone or what happens, but they did have like a full itinerary plan for us as soon as we came in. Yeah, so the itinerary and then we got fruits and chocolate and champagne as kind of like the welcome package. So I'm not sure if that was like a Travin Charles thing or if that was a Suniva thing. We'll find out. We'll let you know. There's a huge variety of activities to everything from, you know, mindfulness and yoga and writing and all kinds of stuff like that to like free diving lessons that we're really excited about. They have a lot going Look on, that's this. for sure. I thought this is food and beverage, so I thought it was going to be like the in-room menu and it is in the back. But the first pages, these are all different specialty dining things that you can you can book an a star cruise, you can do champagne breakfast, you can do a sunset dinner, you can do a cruise dinner, you can do cooking classes, you can do a snorkeling dinner, you can do a meat barbecue on the beach privately or in your room. You can even do a picnic and they have pages and pages of stuff that you pick in a picnic and they take you out on a private picnic. It's insane. We don't have enough time I here. I just wanted a menu <laughs> and I found the menu of the life. Of dreams. Yes. I almost knocked over the champagne. Yeah. So the master is upstairs. Now, like we said, this is a two bedroom villa. We will show you guys the second bedroom. Everything is just, uh, I just, I, I love the aesthetic. I love all the wood. I love like, it's it's not perfect, you know? It's it's just plaster walls and, and you've got like, I mean, it's it's not perfect, but it's it's so real. It's this cool. kind of what I want to do in our house, but the half wood, half stone. Yes, like, it, it's, it's, it's just- very much us. It feels like we're truly living in the jungle right now. Like we have all the comforts, but we're living in the jungle. Yeah. So here's the master bath. This is super cool. You're joking. No. I have to look at you all the time. I have to look at you in our YouTube videos and stuff. Oh, 
No, I, There's a I, mirror. I didn't think it was a mirror either. I was going to say, if I have to look at you when I'm brushing my teeth, I don't want to. I was like, wow, there is nothing like mental health, just not knowing what you look like. That You could not be healthier, but it is no, a mirror. No, it is. It is a mirror. <laughs> hey, guys. you have a little vanity. That's so wow. cute. You've even got a little balcony here. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh. We have lots of, like, towel racks and stuff. Wow. Look at this. We're going to get into this backyard here. Or... Front yard, back, backyard, technically, here in a minute. Stop it, I didn't even know this. Oh, you could open up. The shower? How? There's gotta be, oh, this thing, yes. Oh, That's you can cool. take a shower with a natural breeze coming from the ocean over there and nobody so can see you. Also notice, like we have, there's a villa over there, you can barely make it out through the you trees. You can just tell that it's a villa, you can't see anything. And right. The same over there, like you can kind of see their balcony, but unless they're on the balcony, we would never see them. And it's it, it's also lush, and there's just all these tropical, jungly trees and everything. It's, it's our own slice of paradise. So back into here, this is our shower. Beautiful, right? Again, look at all this cool wood and stuff. Here in the bathroom, I mean, you guys saw it. This is where you can put your luggage. Lots and lots of storage. Assuming this is gonna be the loo. Stop it. Oh my God. The view. The view from the toilet. I absolutely cannot wait Don't. for this, Don't. this moment. This is gonna be a very special moment. Is this? Is that sand? Oh shoot, I thought it was a candle. We gotta get a candle. I'm gonna light a candle and I'm just gonna have my time in here. You, you've even got plenty of backup in case you need it. Did you even see this, Charles? I, oh, I'm in love. Yeah, the, the coral, coral friendly, friendly sun lotion. Yeah. After sun shampoo, after sun conditioner, aloe vera, aloe. Aloe. insect repellent. They, I mean, they think of everything. Does anybody else normally go on vacation and you have like an aloe collection at home? And it's like everywhere you've been, you had to buy aloe? Because that's us. <laughs> Moving out of the bathroom here, we have the master bedroom lofted up above everything else, which is pretty cool. I love this. This is like a fairy know, net, so bug sisters, net. But like growing up, if you had one of these, you were the it girl. You yeah. were the girl who had the slumber parties. You were the cool mom. Like, if, if you, you had walked, a net above your bed, you were you the egg girl. If you into a room like this, you were like, oh, she, this is the girl. That this girl's the, the ish. Yeah, wow. Is. Okay. <laughs> I think technically this is a bug net, but we haven't seen any bugs, so it's there if you need it, but I don't, I don't think we will. Uh, so this, technically what you guys have seen so far is essentially what the one-bedroom villa looks like. And, you know, obviously as a couple we would use this, but if you have kids... These couches turn into beds, and so does that down there. So they can yeah, actually... Also, like, if you just have friends that are small like me, it's fine. Wow. Trevor couldn't lay here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to starfish here, and you lay there, and we're going to have a great vacation. That's why we yeah. come to the Maldives, right? Okay, these are the touches that make places special to me, though. Like, the bedroom is beautiful, but look at this. There's a full bottle of water on both sides of bed and a cup. So you don't have to worry about Wait, it. Wait, have, I have one, too? Yeah. Really? I didn't even see that. Oh, that's amazing. It's so nice. It's like the thing you don't really think about, but you're they just do it anyway. Need and it's just there. They like just they make your life your so easy. Your mind knows what it needs. That's insane. That's why they're truly the best in the business. When we were thinking about booking this trip, I looked up and I, I like tried to figure out what resort, what hotel kind of thing we should go to. And it was no question that we were gonna be coming here because I mean, I've seen it on social media a lot, but like looking at the reviews and stuff just blows everything out of the water. The thing about these bungalows in the jungle is I feel like they're so kind of secretive because everybody, if you look at the Maldives, you see the overwater bungalows. And honestly, we're gonna stay in those later, but I think this is the spot to be. It's totally private. You have your own beach, you have a pool, you have the little pool thing in the back. Like, why are we not seeing these spots? Because I would book this in a heartbeat. It's also significantly cheaper to stay in too, which is you know, obviously yeah, a good but, thing. I mean, we, we literally travel for a living and I didn't know this type of spot existed. I thought it was all overwater bungalows or like a high rise hotel. I had no idea. Yeah, this is cool. Getting back to the tour, this yeah. is our outdoor balcony eating area. Anytime we want to eat up here, when we order our food or when it's delivered, we can just say, hey, we feel like eating on the balcony. And then we can eat here. We've got a nice fan and we've got a great view.
back downstairs after you, my love. We have one more piece that we need to show them. And this, honestly, is the coolest part this to me. My, yeah, this is my favorite part, for sure. So we, we, wait, wait, wait. We got here, and you guys probably saw it in the video, and I heard water back behind this door. And I was like, what? What is leaking back maybe there? We had a washing Do we have a, sh a washing machine or like a shower was left on or something? No, turns out this is the bathroom. Let's. I can't even say anything because it speaks for itself. So cool. The tub is overlooking the thing. You've got your sinks, your mirrors. The closet is even outside. This is the closet. Fully There's our stuff. Oh, fully loaded with our stuff. <laughs> also, again, you have all the same stuff you had upstairs. So all of your stuff is in your bathroom that is your totally private bathroom, but is also outside. Look at the shower. Right here in my shower. Are you with your waterfall and your tree and your foliage and so it's cool. it's it's a waterfall shower head next to your waterfall by the way of course and we can go back here i don't know that you really go back here but you can if you want to this i mean look at this 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 is unreal this is absolutely unbelievable and i've got some uh i've got some decisions to make Why? because they also have another one down here with doors that open up and look at that with the waterfall. And, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we kept talking about the first bedroom and when you walk into the entryway, there's nowhere else to go. It's just upstairs or the couch. That's because it's secret. Wow. So another really cool, you're the best friend of the click type of bed. We've got this thing, which is actually a chest with a TV in that it, is really cool. which is insane. We've got another bed where you could have, you know, friends or kids or hang out or whatever, another desk. And this one's downstairs that looks over the pool in the ocean, which is actually really cool. So, I don't know. We had a hard time deciding where we were going to stay. We chose upstairs. This is equally as okay, nice, though. But also, guys, we chose the upstairs bedroom. We want this bathroom. <laughs> I didn't even realize they had books in here. There's also a bookstore on property. You can go and like buy books and hang out and yeah. again, it's all about slow life. They call their return customers slow lifers. And I intend to be a slow lifer. They want you to come and just relax and get away from it all and truly unplug. Look, more water next to the bed. They think of everything. It's all making sense now. I saw, I saw this ladder over here and I was wondering what it was for. And I thought, is it like, are you supposed to like peep and Tom over the wall at your neighbors or something? Definitely not. It's for your towels. Yes. Again, everything is so, it's made out of bamboo. Everything is so from the earth. Yes. Reduce, reuse, recycle, take care of yourself, take care of the planet, take care of the water. They're also really into taking care of the planet. So I was just reading every Thursday is meatless, the whole resort, all day long. And then there's all these little terracotta suns everywhere and you put those on linens if you want them washed or else you just move it, those are the clean ones, you put it over there to dry, you can use that the next time. That's cool. Yeah. Last but not least, the backyard. <laughs> Do you remember one of our very first trips when you couldn't figure out the slider? Okay, this is different. Lots change, babe. We're in a much nicer place, but some things just don't change, huh? So this is the villa. And here is the backyard. So cool. Now you guys saw at the start, they've got these little hedgehogs all over the place to get the sand off the bottom of your feet. They also have these little guys that you can dump on your feet to completely get all the sand off. This one is obviously for the pool. There's even one with like a, a bin yeah. over there. Look at this thing. This is just for water for your feet, but it's so cool. And I mean, these, what is this, a coconut? Like, like a homemade coconut? Yeah. Coconut on a stick to wash your feet. And it probably makes their life a lot easier because you're not tracking sand in all the time. Right? Oh my goodness. So we have obviously two sun loungers. You've got your own private plunge pool. You've got a swing over here. Look at this thing. Are you kidding me? Oh. You want to come sit down? Okay. Less than graceful. Oh my goodness. I was goodness. already swinging. Oh yeah, I might sit down.
I, I just can't even believe this is this is happening. This is worth 24 hours on a plane. We're on a swing bed in the Maldives right now. I, it hasn't even set in. We we yeah we. It spent... hasn't set in for you. My brain is like, <laughs> what is going on? She was in Orlando waking up 24 hours ago, oh. and now we're here. So yeah, it's been good. I'm half tempted to just end the video right here. Do we really got to show them the ocean? I could totally take a nap, but yes, I do feel like they deserve it. Fine, we got to order some lunch. Maybe get a little nap in. We'll see what happens. But um, this is take a shower. Did you see the shower? Did I wait? What? There's oh, there's a shower. It's blended in. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So nice shower. Oh. I don't even think I'm gonna shower inside. I'm gonna go in the one in the back and then I'm gonna shower in this one. That's that's where I'm showering this week. All right, so we've got that. We've got a hammock over here. We've got a table, again, wherever you wanna eat, you can eat. Chelsea, can you imagine having dinner or something delivered and this is where we eat? Yes, that's what I wanna do. Look at that. Two more sun loungers right here, just in case you wanna be, you know, close to the ocean instead of the pool. I think that's probably where we're gonna end up hanging out. And this, is the most beautiful water I've ever seen. We've been so many beautiful places all over the Caribbean, Bora Bora, some of the best water in the world, we've seen it. This is the nicest. And look at this. So all, all I mean, the villas, there's more villas just kind of dotted along this beach. I don't know how many there are. There aren't that many. This island is about a mile long, I think. So, I mean, we can, we can come out here, we can go for a run in the morning. We could take a stroll down the beach at sunset. We, I mean, it's it's basically like having your own private island. This, I, I can't believe it's real. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed a little room tour of Saniva Fushi. Can't wait to share this adventure with you guys. We're gonna be here for I think the next four or five days and then we're gonna go over to the sister resort called Johnny and we're gonna be over water. So we'll let you guys know which one we end up liking more but this is just insane. Yeah, so. hard to beat. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys in our next video for whatever we get up to and uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks for these opportunities. Peace out.